Hey guys, I'm JJ with Express Workshops. This week we're going to finally get those photographs that you've been meaning to scan into your computer with the help of Photoshop. Okay, the easiest way to get those photographs into your computer is by way of Photoshop. And the reason I say that is because Photoshop has tools that will automate your scanning process. Now, not your scanning process exactly. It will automate your photographs once they are inside of Photoshop. So let me show you what I'm, what I'm going to do here. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get your photographs scanned into Photoshop correctly. So you can see here that I've got uh, the photographs. I'm laying them on the scanner so that there's a little bit of gap between each of the, the photographs. And that's going to help Photoshop figure out where your photographs are. Okay, once they're inside of Photoshop, you're going to see it's going to look like this. And if we go to File and then go down to Automate, you're going to see this command here, Crop and Straighten Photos. Now, all you have to do is just click that button and Photoshop's going to go ahead and go to work. And you can see it's doing its little job and now it's finished. And you can see now that I've got these separate photographs. Now there's one little piece there that didn't get uh, done right, but that just chopped something off. But I have these photographs all scanned in and separated from just one scan. And that's the beauty of using this. You just scan one time with as many photographs as you can get on your scanner and then Photoshop will go ahead and do the rest. Now, there's some things that we'll have to do here, like we'll take the Im this image and we'll just rotate that uh, counterclockwise or clockwise this time, and uh, that'll take care of our scans. This one here needs to be rotated. Oops, I'm in the wrong place here. Going to have to be rotated counterclockwise. But anyways, you can see, I can go in here, and if I need to crop these a little bit further, it just takes just a couple seconds to get my photograph cropped the way I want it. So all I have to do now is go in and save. Okay, that's our video for this week. It's a very short one, but it's something that'll really help you out whenever you want to uh, scan your photographs in and stop procrastinating about doing that. If you like this video, be sure then go ahead and hit the like button down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Thanks.